Hello and welcome to 13 Paranormal. Today the team are in Alton, Staffordshire to peel back the fun facade of Britain's number one tourist attraction to see if there is a darker side to this famous place. Welcome to 13 Paranormal and welcome to Alton Towers. This area is the beginning of the Hex ride experience and the ride famously documents the legend of the Chained Oak. It is said to be the home of some particularly terrifying poltergeist activity. Objects have been known to violently hurl themselves around this whole area and many people queuing for the ride have reported seeing ghostly children playing and being attacked by stones thrown from an unseen force. The area around Alton Towers has been occupied for more than a thousand years, beginning in the Dark Ages. The site has been redeveloped several times from fortified encampment to castle and then country house. An Iron Age fort was built on Burnbury Hill which is now occupied by the Alton Towers estate. In the 11th century the site was refortified when a castle was built soon after the Norman conquest. By the 12th century the estate had been given to Knight Bertram de Verdon as a reward for his work in the Crusades. In 1318, the estate passed by marriage to Thomas de Furnival when he married Joan de Verdon. Furnival later died crusading in the Holy Land in 1348. In 1406, Sir John Talbot acquired the estate when he married Maud, the eldest daughter of Thomas de Furnival. Talbot became the second created Earl of Shrewsbury in 1442 after the title was forfeited by the third Earl of the first creation in 1102. In the 17th century, the former castle was redeveloped as a hunting lodge known as Allerton or Alverton, which is the ancient name for Alton. The three story structure reused one of the castle's former towers, which remains part of the present day building. The lodge was split into two properties one of which was rented by a tenant, the other half was used by the Talbots as a summer residence. In 1801, Charles Talbot, the 15th Earl of Shrewsbury, began redeveloping the hunting lodge into a Gothic-style stately home. Over the next 10 years, architects such as Thomas Allison, William Hollins and Thomas Hopper oversaw renovating the building, work including the addition of a drawing room, dining room, chapel, library, long gallery, Bampton Hall, conservatory and entrance hall. As a result, the building was doubled in size. It also included the laying of the foundations for the flag tower. The house was then renamed Alton Abbey. In 1814, Charles and his wife moved to Alton permanently. Work then began on turning the farmland around the house into one of the largest formal gardens in Britain. After the 15th Earl of Shrewsbury died in 1827, he was succeeded by his nephew John Talbot, who completed the gardens and the house which was started by his uncle. The 16th Earl then came to live at Alton permanently. Noted architect Augustus Pugin designed a new entrance hall, Bankton Hall and various other rooms, extending the house further. The property was renamed Alton Towers. From 1839 the grounds were open to the public at various times of the year. In 1852, following the death of the 16th Earl, Alton Towers was briefly inherited by his cousin, Bertram. But when he died four years later, at the age of 24, all work on the house ceased and there was no direct heir to the estate. Bertram left the earldom and Alton Towers to a younger son of the Duke of Norfolk, but this was contested by Henry Talbot, a distant cousin of the late Earl. In 1857, Henry Talbot became the 18th Earl of Shrewsbury and two years later, he acquired the Alton Towers estate. The 19th Earl opened the grounds to the public at certain times of the year to help raise money to refurbish parts of the house. During the 1890s, the 20th Earl, Charles Talbot, started the tradition of summer fates at Alton, as well as the gardens, people were attracted with firework displays, balloon festivals, clowns and exhibitions. 
1896, the Earl and the Countess separated. During World War II, Alton Towers was requisitioned by the War Office as an officer training unit. The gardens remained closed to the public until 1951. During the 1960s and 1970s, the grounds were redeveloped as a visitor attraction. After millionaire property developer John Broom married the daughter of the majority shareholder Denise Bagshaw in 1973, he bought out the controlling stake in Alton Towers. Over the next few years, he laid the foundation for the modern theme park by installing various permanent rides and redeveloping areas of the grounds in progressive states. Alton Towers then began its evolution into the major theme park that you see today. A lady in a long black dress has been seen many times wandering the corridors of the towers. Some have witnessed the smell of strong perfume. This phantom is so vivid that one employee approached her, believing that she was a guest, and asked her to leave, whereupon she slowly faded away. I've got three meals down at the bottom. And they've gradually just been coming in as you've been talking there, Steph. Mm -hmm. And they were just coming up and out of the left hand side. And there's three of them, and they're basically watching what we're doing, seeing what we're here for, possibly looking at us going, there's more folk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could the gentlemen who are standing down at the bottom, could you please come closer? Come towards us. We're not here to harm you in any way. We're here to speak with you. Come join us. Come towards the green light that's on the floor. They are coming up. <clears throat> Come towards the green light. Can you make the light flash? I'm picking up in a smaller person as well, a younger male. There's like three, three men and there's, um, I would say, between 10 and 13. A younger boy. And it's like stable stuff that he's wearing. Okay. And I'm getting David. David. David, if that's you, could you come closer? Come towards us. Can you make a noise? Possibly a slightly younger child, I would have said about eight. Well, I think they really, can anybody else feel anything here? Because I feel as though well, there's someone standing here as well. Watch if you're here. I feel that I feel that the young person does need nurturing. Hello. Mm -hmm. I feel a 
female energy though. A young female, eight years old. She feels shy. There's too many people. Shy. Oh, don't be threatened. She feels like she wants a cuddle. I like cuddles. Mm. If you want a cuddle, could you manage to flash those lights for me? If that's what you want. Say hello, say hello to us. You want to play? with this little person. I feel as if there have been lots of children passing through here. Blonde hair. Could you not show me the lights? Hmm? She's still not giving you a name. No. Don't be shy, sweetheart. Look at these lights, look down here. Look, they're not going to hurt. Yeah. 
I just feel that these three men that are at the bottom, I feel they tie in with each other. Mm -hmm. And the younger male, let's say, is very, I feel they were quite dominant. Mm -hmm. The males, very much, and as you're, as you're standing there talking, they were actually coming up closer as well. And I could actually hear kind of some noises coming from down that area. I feel these men would have been in charge. And a younger mm -hmm. boy definitely has. Uh, helps with the, in the stables, horses. Try and do something for us, please, just to prove to us that you're around us. Don't be scared of us. Try and move an object. Try and throw something. Touch one of us. Males, females, children. Can you try and show that you're around us? I'm sure you've been asked loads of times. You know what to do. Can you make a noise? where we're all stood, make a noise in the centre, I think we're roughly all in a circle. If you are trying, can't hear, we do apologise. We try and use all the energy that's around you. It's not just been touched you. the back of my leg. It's been touched, yeah. Try and make the noise louder <laughs> and more definite to the area that will stood. Louder and more definite to the area that will stood. Louder and more definite to the area that will stood. getting touched around the bottom of my legs. No, but it's paws just come through there. No, but it's paws just come through there. No, but it's paws just come through there.
if there's anyone here, anyone in the gardens, anyone that can hear my voice, come to where we are please, come towards the bandstand. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to harm you in any way. We're just here to talk to you. Come and join us on the bandstand. Try and make a noise. Show yourself as a light. Try and make your presence known to us, please. Is there somewhere around us now that's making this KT meter this grey box with a green light on top flash? Do that again, please. And everybody's phones are absolutely off. Or yeah. yeah, mine's off. Or flight mode. <coughs> yeah. This is a, a female. Could you make the lights flash for us, please? Please. You could use the method of using the movement of the table. I'm sure you've been asked before, but all you need to do is move it. Tip it from side to side, lift it. Knock on it, whichever you can do. Please don't see it as beneath you. If you do, by all means, if there's another way that you can communicate with us, then by all means, please do so. table please or make a sound If you want us to come further, is that all right? What's that like? I'm just going to be out. I'm just going to be out. What is it? Are you trying to talk? I don't know. Is it changing the color to you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Are you around us? 
was a sign of some sort. Grow something. Make a noise. Is someone coming in? Is that you two? Charles, if you can hear my voice. Try and make yourself known to us, please. Touch one of us. Talk to us. Charles, if you're here. Charles, if you can hear my voice, make a noise for us, please. Show yourself. Are you angry? Are you annoyed? You must get so annoyed people walking through your home every day. You just want to be left alone. And your way of stopping people is to throw things and tell them to leave. Well, you're going to have to do something like that for us. Because we ain't going until you actually do something. If you really want us out here so you can be left in peace, you need to try and do something for us. Show yourself as a light, throw something. Make a really loud bang. Anyone feel the draft? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. not just. You obviously don't want us to go then. Did it? Yeah. Dean. <laughs> Don't you want us here? Ooh. I 
On behalf of myself and the rest of the 13 Paranormal team, thank you for watching.